From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. You want to go where to buy a new refrigerator? Steve's A to Z Appliance in Cottonwood? In Cottonwood? Just a 10 minute drive. And they'll save us money. New and used, honest, reliable, factory trained repair service and parts? And they'll save us money. And dispose of this thing? We gotta make the short drive to Steve's A to Z. Thanks, son. Steve's A to Z Appliance, front and main streets in Cottonwood. Drive a little, save a lot. Well, some pretty impressive rainfall totals over the last 24 hours. Not a bad day when we're talking about rain. About a half an inch. Most of us actually saw a little bit more than a half of an inch in the valley, so absolutely wonderful to see that. You can see off to the west, out towards uh, Willow Creek, over an inch there. In many cases around Crescent City and Del Norte County, over an inch there as well, but still very impressive. 0.25 out in an Eureka and 3200s in Fortuna. We have more rain in the forecast, not necessarily a whole lot today, but really the main story this morning for at least the valley will be areas of dense fog this morning. Started to see some of that in some areas here. Even some of the inland and mountain valleys could see some of that fog. Otherwise, we're looking at off and on rain well into next week with higher snow levels with these systems. I've been talking about this the last several days. That warmer, moist air is moving in, and that's going to keep those snow levels fairly high. Taking you through the day today, looking at the valley, it's going to be mainly dry. We'll call it mostly cloudy. For Siskiyou, Modoc County, some morning showers, so you may see a few showers this morning. Otherwise, by the afternoon, should be dry. Eastern mountains, I'm expecting to see a mainly dry, out there, dry day out there today with partly to mostly cloudy skies. For the north coast, I think we can see a few showers throughout the day today, but nothing heavy. I think most of it will be this morning. That's also the case for the inland areas, drying out most likely by the afternoon. In Trinity County, some of those showers may try to make their way into parts of Trinity County, but for the most part, not looking very wet for Trinity County today either. So there's the main area of low pressure scooting off to the, to the north and, of course, to the east of us now. But you can see that stream of moisture that we saw push through yesterday. Now things are kind of quieting down behind it. However, you'll notice off to the west, we got more activity and all of this is heading our way. A nice plume of moisture heading our way, especially toward the end of the week. So let's take a look at future cast and you can still see some morning rain out towards Del Norte and not to mention the northern portions of the state this morning. And you can see as we go even through the noon hour, still some uh, heavier showers out towards Del Norte County. But by around noon, you can see things are kind of starting to quiet down a bit here. Then we go into the afternoon and evening. It's pretty much dry for everyone. Then you can see Another weak disturbance kind of passing to our north could bring some light showers to the north in Siskiyou, Modoc. Even parts of the eastern mountains could see some light showers as well, but overall not a lot of activity. Then we go into Thursday afternoon, once again fairly dry. This right here is what I've got my eyes on here for the end of the week. It looks like it's going to take its own sweet time on Friday getting here. So I'm expecting sometime around late morning hours that the coast will see some showers by Friday. But by Friday evening, Friday night, it will push eastward. And again, you can see a nice fetch of moisture that's heading our way. So it's going to bring us some decent rain. Looking at the forecast rain totals before that storm hits, you can see we're just not going to see much rain out there with the exception out towards Crescent City. Once again, might be overdoing it, but that's where the bulk of the rain is going to be. Not a lot of snow either. You have to head up really high in elevation, five, 6,000 feet before you start seeing anything significant as far as snow is concerned. All right, take a look at the forecast winds. They're going to continue to be a factor here, especially out towards the north and west. Central Siskiyou County can see some gusty winds at times and not to mention off into the eastern mountains. As we progress through the day today, those winds actually start to die down a little bit here, even out towards central Siskiyou County, but still some gusty winds for some of those higher mountain ridges in Modoc County and in the eastern mountains. Now, as we go into Thursday morning, see how the winds are beginning to pick up again here towards Shasta Valley, even out towards parts of the coast, especially out towards Crescent City, seeing some gusty winds. Uh, gusty winds again out towards central Siskiyou County for your Thursday as well. And then we go into your Friday. Look at that. Pretty gusty winds going into Friday morning as well. So Siskiyou County, central Siskiyou County in particular is the main area of concern when we're talking about gusty winds. 
that of course is a problem for high profile vehicles. Now I've been talking about warm subtropical air moving in. You can clearly see there the path of these storms are coming in from the south and west. The main areas of low pressure are up to our north and those main areas of low pressure are pushing through the Pacific Northwest, but they're all tapping into that subtropical moisture and is heading right through Northern California and California in general, giving us off and on rain for Friday through the weekend and even next week. So that warm subtropical moisture, it looks like it's gonna be the pattern here at least through the middle of next week, if not longer. And when we look at the precipitation outlook, it's looking very promising. As you can see here, the areas of green indicating good chances of seeing above normal rainfall, but it is going to be above normal when we're talking about those temperatures as well. Hence those higher snow levels I've been talking about. The wave heights taking you into this afternoon, about 11 feet, a little bit higher than that in some areas here. And then we go into Thursday, we're not gonna see much change here as far as those wave heights are concerned. So for today, Southwest winds at about 10 to 20 knots, your waves from the west at 11 feet at 13 seconds. And there's a small crash advisory here through the afternoon. Here's your Trinity County neighborhood forecast. Temperatures mainly in the upper 40s to low 50s for your daytime highs. Now, when we look at the seven day outlook, it's a little confusing, quite honestly, because you see a lot of rain, you see a lot of snow levels, you're seeing some clouds, some sun. So today, I don't think we're gonna see much in Trinity County. Tomorrow, it's mainly gonna be in the morning that we may see some activity here. And then on Friday, mainly dry for the first half of the day, but then by the second half of the day, we could see some showers moving in. And then off and on chances for rain pretty much through at least the middle of next week. Looking at your North Coast forecast, could see a few showers today. Once again, Thursday, but nothing to really write home about with the exception of Del Norte County, seeing some decent rain out there today. Off and on showers Friday through next week. Take you up north, 55 degrees for Smith River, 52 degrees for Oric, 55 degrees in Trinidad. We take you out to your Siskiyou County neighborhood forecast. Once again, maybe some morning activity today. Tomorrow, just a few sprinkles, maybe a few flurries here and there around 5,000 feet. Friday, late in the day probably late afternoon, early evening, we start to see that rain and snow kick in for Friday and then off on all the way through Tuesday. Taking a look at your Modoc County neighborhood forecast. Now take a look at this. You can see today, this morning, maybe a few flurries. Thursday, there may be some lingering activity through the day, but nothing heavy is expected on Thursday. Friday, I think late in the day, we'll see those showers kick in. Saturday, all the way through Tuesday of next week, often on chances. Now the Eastern Mountains, what you'll look at here is dry today, a few early morning showers with snow levels around 5,500 feet. I expect it'll be dry through the day on Friday. It's not until Friday night into Saturday that we'll see that rain begin to kick in and then off and on into early next week. Here's your neighborhood forecast for the valley and we've got those temperatures today in the upper 50s, not warming up a whole lot. It's gonna be a foggy start to the day for some of us and it will be dense fog in some areas. And taking a look up to the north, brought to you by Historic Haas Farms with 50 degrees out towards Whiskey Town, 51 for the city of Shasta Lake and 53 out in Bella Vista. Here's a look at your 7A outlook for Reading. So again, that morning fog will be dense for some of us but all in all, fairly dry, fairly dry for your Thursday as well. Now, most of the day, the first half of the day on Friday should be dry for us in the valley, but by late in the day, the shower's kicking in. More showers off and on, and by the way, heavy rainfall, especially as we go into Friday night, and then more showers off and on for Saturday, Sunday, even into early next week.